What's going on everybody? Kenny Bomb is in the building and more superstar ratings have dropped on WWE 2K24's X account. So what we're gonna do is take a look at these videos and try to guess what these superstars rating will be to see if 2K got it right, going in fresh. But first, I gotta let you know that it's giveaway season. I'm giving away an Xbox Series X, a PlayStation 5, or a Steam Deck. All we gotta do is hit 30,000 subscribers by the end of March. So let's get to it. And boy, we're starting off hot because we're starting off with the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes, a guy who they're pushing to the top of that mountain. And if Roman Reigns is right now on the top of that mountain and he's at a 99, Cody Rhodes can't be far from it. We got Rhea Ripley at a 96. I think Cody Rhodes fits at a 96 as well. So let's go ahead and check this out and see if they gave him the right treatment. We got to turn the volume off because I don't want them to cancel Christmas on me. So let's see. That's a man who looks like a 96 to me. Come on, give us the rating. All right, let's go. A 93. A 93? Hold on. Wait a minute. Logan Paul is a 90. <laughs> That's why I said we got to be careful with Logan Paul's rating at that 90. Because you got Logan Paul at a 90 where Cody Rhodes is a 93. Listen, I know y'all say these things don't matter because of the accelerator, but listen, they matter. The way you pull the game out of the box, these ratings are reflective of what the company thinks of these wrestlers. So Cody Rhodes at a 93 and Logan Paul at a 90 is kind of crazy. Cody Rhodes should have been at least a 96. Woo, we're not starting off good here. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. Next one, we got Gunter. Oh, this is scary. This is scary. Because I would have put him at a 90. But Logan Paul's a 90. And the only reason I would put him at a 90 is because... He's an intercontinental champion. He's not really on that heavyweight championship status yet. Whether he should be or not, he's not. So I would put Gunter... I want to say with Logan Paul being a 90, he should be a 91. Ah, oh, he's a 90, the same as Logan Paul. Well, okay, okay, I could see that because Logan Paul is the United States champion. So if you're going to put him at 90, you know what? The United States and Intercontinental, they are on the same level. So a 90 is fair for Gunter. But Logan Paul got a 90. He should be at least a 91. Come on, guys. I'm not tripping. I'm not tripping on Gunter. That's fair. Who do we got next? We got Johnny Gargano. Oh, he hasn't been too hot lately. I'm gonna say 82. I'm gonna say 82 on Johnny Gargano. Anything above that, I think they're being really nice to him. Shout out to um, Ludwig though. I don't know if we got his rating yet, but let's see. I wanna fast forward it, but I don't wanna miss the rating. We gotta keep these things raw. Let's see what he got. 74, I'm not mad at it. I was being nice with an 82, but you know what? I didn't want to kind of kill him, but 74, I think that's fair. 74 is fair for Johnny Gargano. Now, if you got NXT Johnny Gargano in there, the guy's like a, what is he? Probably like an 87, but yeah, right now on the main roster, he's just not really kicking it. Now, I'm scared for Drew McIntyre. He's not a champion, and it looks like the champion is going to determine these guys' ratings. Because 93 for Cody Rhodes is still crazy. But for Drew McIntyre, oh, man, he's a 92. He's a 92. Are they going to give him the 92, though? 90 bottom level. Bottom level 90. But I'm going 92 for Drew McIntyre. Let's see what he got. Good character model, though. Hair still looks smoked. 89. Oh. Ooh, Drew McIntyre under Logan Paul. You know what? I say it's got to be the titles, but Cody Rhodes is not a champion, and he's out of 93. I guess you got to have your number one contenders up there, but 89 for Drew McIntyre is rough. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. I got to listen to these with sound because I know these guys aren't going to be happy. Well, Drew McIntyre at least because he's a cocky guy. Now, Otis and Chad, uh, let's pause it because I don't know if they're going to reveal these pretty early because we got a lot of wrestlers here. So, Otis, 83. Chad is about an 86. Let's see. You are an 80. 
Oh, they said he was an 80. Are they not gonna show these on the screen? I guess we gotta listen to these. This yeah. 74. Oh. I'm down to a 7. 74 for Otis and 80 for Chad. Tazawa. Oh, Ooh. that's a that's a true eight, cadet eight. score. That's a Tazawa. 68. Oh, 69. That's a 68. That's a true eight. I guess it's fair, but ugh, 68. We're dipping into the low nasty, waters now. Nasty. And then Maxine. Green. 64. Oh. Maxine, 64. Oh, there we go. So that's kind of high for Maxine. 64. I mean, she. Zelina Vega was what? Like a 74? 73? 64 is kind of high for Maxine because she's rough in there. I would give her a 60. 74 for Otis. I mean, these are lower level characters. I would go higher with Chad Gable because he is really good, even though he's not positioned in the best way. But Tozawa, it's fair. So, I mean, not too offensive here, especially looking at the first one. So, we'll give it to him. All right, we got more. Oh, Judgment Day. I just realized this video was two minutes and 14 seconds long, so we're not going to sit through this one. We're going to jump to the end since we know they will give us the graphic with everybody on it. But let's get our predictions out first, starting with J.D. McDonough. I am not a fan. I say give him a 64. Put him down there with Maxine. Finn Balor, you know what? He could have been a 90, but I don't think he ever recovered after he got injured by Seth Rollins. He's kind of been a B-level player ever since. So Finn Balor, leader of the leader of the Judgment Day. Is he the leader or is it Rhea Ripley? I think it's Rhea Ripley, actually. So we're going to give Finn Balor an 88. Oh, 86. We'll go 86 for Finn Balor. And Damian Priest, Mr. Money in the Bank, you can't put him too far down there. I think he's definitely in the 80s right now. We'll give Damian Priest a 85. If Finn Balor's a 86, I think we're going to lock 86 in for Finn Balor. I think we're going to go 85 for Damian Priest. Let's see. We don't want to pass it. So let's get through. Okay. All right. So everybody's kind of up one. Everybody's up one. So Damian Priest at 86. We said 85. So 86 is good. Finn Balor, 87 instead of the 86. That's a good one. And JD McDonough, 71. A bit high for him. A bit high, but we're not going to go too crazy on the guy. Shouts out to him at a 71. Do we have anybody else? No. Nobody else. Just Post Malone up there. So we're going to have to cancel Christmas on that segment before they cancel Christmas on us. But thank y'all for tuning into this video. Don't forget to drop a like on it and smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. Did they get these ratings right? Let me know in the comment section. Bomb Squad. Let's get to that. Run, run, boy. They coming out.